Hello, I'm David Reed, owner of the Ballater Gallery. Welcome to what is going to be the start of a series of, I don't know, small videos every month where we talk to you about a different artist and we showcase their paintings. This month and this video is all about Marion Drummond. Well, hi, and welcome to the first of the Balloter Gallery videos where we showcase one artist and that artist's paintings every month. Um, and hopefully, I won't bore people. It's a short video to explain, as I say, one artist who we feature from the walls of the gallery. So, first artist to be chosen. I think quite a few of you will be able to guess who this is without... Uh, me having to tell you, these paintings are by the one and only Marion Drummond. Um, I'll move over here, I think, and let you have a look at these paintings. Two small ones down there, both of uh, flowers, which we've got the roses, got the hydrangeas, but also two absolute stunners. If you want to have a look at this incredible painting, the fiery red tulips, which I would call a classic uh, Marian painting. We have another painting which isn't here right at the moment, which is also the large red tulips. Totally stunning, both the tulip paintings. Marian is one of the most successful um, Scottish artists. She has shown at the Scottish Academy. She has shown at the Royal Glasgow Institute and sells in London. She it's great fun, and I've known Marion for many years, and she tells me that she's been influenced by the likes of Jenny Saville, by the likes of Rubens. She's, when, when myself and the team at the gallery explain to people how she paints, they're pretty blown away, and I think there's so much soul in her work. She's largely self-taught, but it's hard to believe that a stunning painting like this, Marion generally paints with a rag, her fingers, and occasional use of a palette knife. People love that story behind her work. If you look at this painting here, we've, we've got it above just a console table in the gallery, uh, and it's sitting above David Meredith Bronzes, but this could be in a, in a garden room, it could be above a fireplace. They're real statement pieces, but we've sold so many of her smaller paintings, and people can always find a space for a Marion Drummond painting. At the gallery, I'm regularly Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, taking paintings to people's houses, almost in a sort of try before they buy. And I defy anybody to say they couldn't find a place for a Marion Drummond. <laughs> 